Chapter 4. All about charts. The chart window is the bigger panel in the centre of the screen, and it displays the historical data of currency pair symbols. In this tutorial, we will focus on the options for managing the chart panel. By right-clicking this section panel, a drop-down menu box will appear, with several options of customising the interface panel. The first option is called Trading, which allows you to open a trade on a specific symbol, or set up a pending order at a specific price value, depending on your mouse cursor position on the chart. We will explain the pending orders in more detail in a separate tutorial. The next option is Expert Advisors. This is only enabled if you have previously attached Expert Advisors to the chart, and it helps you to adjust their properties, remove or backtest them. In another tutorial session, we will tell you about Expert Advisors in detail. The Templates option enables you to create, delete and adjust your templates. This menu will also be explained in more detail later on. By clicking the Refresh button, you can refresh the chart window. Another option is to toggle the grid on and off according to your preferences. Furthermore, you can display the volumes which indirectly represent the market activity by pressing the Volumes option button. If you wish to save a specific screenshot of the selected chart, you may use the Save as Picture option from the drop-down menu, or you can print it directly by using the Print option. Now let's see how you can create objects in your charts. The Object toolbar is located at the top of the Market Watch panel. Alternatively, you can use the Insert tab of the Client Terminal. Let's draw a horizontal line by holding down the left mouse button and releasing it at the preferred value. Once the object is attached to your chart, the new option called Object List will appear in your drop-down menu. This is where you can manage your existing objects. You can choose to delete an existing object or edit the settings. To edit an object, you need to select it first and hit the Edit button located on the right side. Once you click it, a new window will open. In the Common tab, you can change the name and the description which would be displayed, as long as the Show Object Descriptions is ticked. Here you can change the style or colour of the object. In the Parameters tab, you can adjust the values, while in the Visualisation tab, you can choose the time frame in which the object should be displayed. By default, this is set up to be displayed in all time frames. It is also possible to attach indicators to your chart. You can do this either from the Navigator window or from the Insert tab. Once you have attached the indicator, the new option will appear in your drop-down menu. This enables you to edit or delete the indicators attached to your chart. You can get to know more about this in our tutorial sessions about indicators. Thank you for watching.